Hello, can you believe the movie The Comancheros was released 62 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now? Who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Nehemiah Persov was born on August 2, 1919, in Jerusalem, British Mandate of Palestine. He portrayed the character well in the film when he was 42 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 2022, he passed away at the age of 102, leaving us deeply saddened. Man physically, as you'll gather. At that time, there was a motley collection of people dealing with the Indians. I brought organization of the business. May I call your attention? And started the actor studio. That the styles began to change. The people liked what they saw with these actors, and the producers and directors began. Patrick Wayne was born on July 15, 1939, in Los Angeles, California, USA. He portrayed the character Toby in the movie when he was 22 years old in 1961. He is now living happily at 84. I feed you. Miss Schofield's cooking is too good for you. Miss Schofield's busy starting to have a baby. Is that right? You'll have to eat Schofield's cooking. Look here at this museum. It's it's well supported and uh, keeps evolving into becoming a bigger and better place and it's just it's it's great to be a part of that whole thing. John Wayne was born on May 26, 1907 in Winterset, Iowa, USA. He portrayed the character Captain Jake Cutter in the film when he was 54 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 1979 he passed away at 72, leaving us deeply saddened. Rangers you know, this tailor is going to be mighty unhappy when he don't get his money. Of course, he'll get a lot of advertising. You wearing that $300 suit under the gallows. Important, you have to have interesting people. Jack Ford, like in, in um, um, Stagecoach, you... Lee Marvin was born on February 19, 1924, in New York City, USA. He played the character Tully Crow in the film when he was 37 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 1987, he passed away at 63, leaving us deeply saddened. And I never knew. So you can see how important it was to both of us to get started off right. Yeah. I'll give you $100 for every gun you got. Uh, you know, Hollywood isn't really what it used to be in the sense that they yeah. don't make movies here anymore. I don't think I've made a movie in this town in about 15 years. So you get on a... Jack Elam was born on November 13, 1920, in Miami, Arizona, USA. He portrayed the character Horseface in the film when he was 41 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 2003, he passed away at the age of 82, leaving us deeply saddened. This is water. about 30 or 40 heavies. Mm -hmm. And so when people say, well, you were in High Noon, weren't you? Oh, yeah, and they think of me as one of those three guys that did the, you know, in the shootout, mm -hmm. which was not true at all. I was the drunk that Cooper threw. Stuart Whitman was born on February 1st, 1928, in San Francisco, California, USA. He portrayed the character Paul Regret in the movie when he was 33 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 2020, he passed away at 92, leaving us deeply saddened. Too bad there's not room for both of us. If you'll permit me a statement, this is very uncivilized. Well, now, Monsoon. Don't mess with those kids that you're playing with. Well, why can't I? They're my pals. And they said, well, they belong to the, to the bad guys, really bad guys. Ina Balin was born on November 12, 1937, in Brooklyn, New York, USA. She portrayed the character Pillar Grau in the movie when she was 24 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 1990, she passed away at the age of 52, leaving us deeply saddened. Glass of wine. May I suggest my cabin? Frankly, I prefer my cabin. Shall we say number 127? Michael and Sarah was born on April 15, 1922, in Syria. He portrayed the character Amalang in the film when he was 39 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 2013, he passed away at 91, leaving us deeply saddened. Stop.
still want to win, big man, but now you know how. Here you go, my friend. Bruce Cabot was born on April 20th, 1904, in Carlsbad, New Mexico, USA. He played the character Major Henry in the film when he was 57 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 1972, he passed away at 68, leaving us deeply saddened. Never did find out who, and that's the gospel truth. And you still don't know where you got that wagon load of guns. I've been beating my head trying to remember. Henry Daniel was born on March 5, 1894, in Barnes, Surrey, United Kingdom. He portrayed the character Jiro in the film when he was 67 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 1963, he passed away at 69, leaving us deeply saddened. The son of Judge Bobier has never been killed before. Yes, most certainly he will have you arrested before nightfall and hang before the week is out. I'm sorry, it will take the insane. Joan O'Brien was born on February 14, 1936, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. She portrayed the character Melina Marshall in the film when she was 25 years old in 1961. She is now living happily at the age of 87. Been to town with Uncle Jake. Maybe some visitors here that aren't as welcome as us. We'll be ready. Oh, uh, not until my friend... Lace Snowden was born on June 23, 1929, in Memphis, Tennessee, USA. She portrayed the character Adabel in the movie when she was 32 years old in 1961. We regret to inform you that in 1982, he passed away at the age of 52, leaving us deeply saddened. Guadalupe. Guadalupe Felipe Carmela Lopez de Reyes. Fuzzy for short. Well, it's delightful to meet you, Fuzzy. Who provided the refreshment? Who is your favorite character in the movie, The Comancheros? If you like the video, I invite you to hit the like button. And if you like this set of content, you can also hit the subscribe button. This is Turn Back Time and I hope you have a great day.